Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Visual Studio IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from visualstudio.microsoft.com. So I'm going to click on this link. So once you are on this microsoft.com website, when you scroll down, you will be able to see three products from the Visual Studio family. We want to download the Visual Studio for our Windows 11 operating system. So just hover over this download Visual Studio button, which is going to show you three options, community, professional and enterprise. So we are going to download the community version of Visual Studio, which is this one. So I'm going to click on the community link here which is going to redirect me to this page where it's going to show you how you can install Visual Studio and also it's going to download this Visual Studio Community EXE file. So you can see uh, many videos here and tutorials here how you can use Visual Studio for developing different uh, apps and products. So I'm going to click on this EXE file and let me minimize my browser. So first of all, it's going to start this Visual Studio uh, installer. And also it's going to show you this warning which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i trust this app so i'm going to click on yes here so on the first window i'm going to just click on the continue button which is going to start downloading the visual studio essential packages and then it's going to install them so at this point you don't need to do anything you just need to wait and watch until everything is done and you will see this kind of checkbox in front of both the options so I can see that both the processes are finished now and it's getting the Visual Studio installer ready. And now Visual Studio installer has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So you can see here Visual Studio comes with many different type of uh, offerings and products and you can use Visual Studio for developing different kind of uh, technologies, for example, ASP.NET and web development or Azure development, Python development, Node.js development. You can also use Visual Studio for desktop and mobile development. So you can see all these options here. We can also develop games and uh, database tools using Visual Studio. So you can decide which uh, development you want to do using your Visual Studio. And once you're done, you can just check that checkbox. So I want to use this Visual Studio for .NET desktop development. So I'm going to just check this checkbox. If you want to choose multiple technologies, you can choose them also. So I can check multiple checkboxes from here. And also it's going to show you the total space requirement for uh, installing all these uh, packages, right? So when you uncheck some of these packages, you will see that the total space is going to reduce little bit, okay? So for now, I'm going to just check .NET Desktop Development and then click on Install button, which is going to start the download of all the necessary packages for the package which I have chosen, and then it's going to install them. So at this point also, you need to just wait for the download and the installation to complete. So you can see both download and installation of packages are happening in parallel. So just leave your desktop opened until this process is going on. You can grab a coffee or tea, whatever you like, and just keep an eye on this process until it reaches to the 100% mark. So once the installation is finished, you will be able to see this kind of window. And here you can see under installed, you will be able to see whatever packages you have chosen are installed here right also under available you will be able to see visual studio enterprise and visual studio professional version so if you want to install them uh, later also you can do that but for now we have uh, just installed the community version so once the installation is finished you can click on the launch button which is going to launch uh, visual studio on your windows 11 operating system so first of all, whenever you click on the launch button, you will be able to see this uh, login with your Microsoft account uh, window. So I'm going to log in with my Microsoft account. 
I think Visual Studio always asks you to log in with your Microsoft account. So I have provided my email. I'm going to click on next. And now I'm going to provide my password. And now I'm going to click on uh, the sign in button. So now I can see that Visual Studio is going to sign me in. And once you are signed in, you will see this message which says we are preparing for the first you. And now I can see that Visual Studio IDE has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So I can just uh, maximize this window and you can see uh, all these options here. Clone a repository, open a project or solution. You also have open a local folder and create a new project. For now, I'm going to choose continue without code, which is going to launch my Visual Studio IDE on my Windows 11 operating system. So when you open uh, Visual Studio IDE, you will be able to see this solution explorer here. You also will be able to see this toolbox depending upon the packages you have installed, right? So let me create a new uh, project. So I'm going to click on uh, file here. And then from here, I'm going to select a new project. And then it's going to just search for all the templates. And I can see here all these options. So I have the C Sharp console app, Visual Basic console app. And then I have these all the other apps which I can create in my uh, Visual Studio IDE. So for now, let me create a very simple console app. So I'm going to select uh, the first option here and then click on next. And here you can provide the project name. I'm going to provide uh, the name uh, hello world here and then I'm going to click on next and this will be the framework so I'm going to leave it as default and then click on create and once my project is created I can see uh, this kind of interface under solution explorer I will be able to see my project and then there is this one file which comes by default with the project which is called program.cs in my case because I'm developing a very simple console application and now you just need to build your program and run it. You can simply click on this green run button in order to build and run your program. So when you click on this green run button, Visual Studio is going to compile or build your project and once the build is successful, Visual Studio is going to run your project. So now I can see that the build was successful and I can see the result hello world here in the terminal. And that's what I wanted to see. So everything is working fine on my Visual Studio IDE. And now I can use my Visual Studio IDE for the C Sharp related development. You can also add any other programming language support, for example, C++ or Node.js or other uh, frameworks any uh, time later also. So this is how you can download and install Visual Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.